bum. Anyways, uh, it is the day, literally, like, 12 hours before I leave for Anime Expo, and so Loot Anime have gotten here at the perfect time. Uh, that's a weird shaped box again this week. Um, if only I got one of these every week, that'd be pretty sweet. Dear Loot Anime, please make a once a week subscription service. N no, maybe not. Anyways, <laughs> let's get into it. Um, it's exploding. Boom. That's actually cool. I like that background. Uh, I like how some people take these boxes and like put them behind them. I wish I could put them behind me. Please ignore the clothes behind me. Like I said, sorry. I'm packing to go. Literally. Literally packing to leave for Anime Expo. Um, Just, you know, plug real quick. Anime Expo. Kitsuga.com. www.kitsuga.com. That's the name of the website where all the Anime Expo content will be. So this box's theme is... Action! That's pretty generic. Um, we got a t-shirt. It's, it's purple. Uh, you know, what is it with uh, loot anime t-shirts? They kind of like go back and forth between being good and utter garbage. Um, uh, Battle Angel Alita. I mean, this is subtle. I could probably wear this and people wouldn't know it was anime. It's a really nice purple color. Okay, I'll take it. Good job. Again, um, you know, I feel like the t-shirt's hit and miss. That one's a hit. Oh, and I see my favorite thing in the world. Socks. These ones have, like, a really cool stylized Naruto logo on them. Never seen that before, that logo before. Naruto Shippuden Crew Socks. Um, socks are the greatest thing in the world. When you become an adult, you'll understand. Um, not having to match socks because you get a new pair of socks is, is super cool. So they say Ninja Academy on them, and I have the Japanese character for what I assume is Ninja Academy. And they say Naruto Shippuden. Uh, we're a series behind on that one, so it's kind of that's a little sad. But yeah, Ninja Academy right there. Nice. Uh, Tube socks. That's another win in my book. That's, that's two wins. Two wins, one box. If you don't get that joke, then you're probably too young to be watching my content. Um, let's look at the pin next. Oh, Land of the Lustrous. Uh, let me get this out because it's really hard to see these when they're in the, the plastic foil stuff. These pins are so cool. Uh, I feel like I don't always do them justice on the video, but... There we go. That's a really nice pin. Um, maybe? Yeah, focus there for a second. That's cool. Uh, Land of the Lustrous was the CG anime that... The only good CG anime ever, if you ask certain people. Um, and just as a reminder, guys, um, these are the lootcrate.com slash, loot slash anime pins. Lootcrate.com slash anime pins. Go there, you get a Thanks to Bookwalker, you'll get the first book of this manga for free. Uh, and that's every month. You don't have to be subscribed to Loot Crate Anime for that. You just have to go to Loot Crate Anime slash uh, anime pins every month, and you can get one free manga from Bookwalker. Um, speaking of manga, down in the bottom here, I have a manga, a strangely sized manga. Um, it's Goblin Slayer. Um, actually, this is... A light novel. Uh, I did not notice until I had picked it up, but it has the Yen On logo just there. Ah, yeah, there Yen On logo. Uh, so this is a light novel. Um, light novels, if you for some reason have no familiarity with them at all, are sort of like short serialized books. Uh, so this one's about 200 pages long. Uh, and in Japan, this is a super popular format for consuming media. Uh, a lot of anime come from these types of uh, books and they're super popular they're usually serialized this is volume one of course uh, i recently read the saga of tanya the evil's first two and also the recent ggo uh the most recent sao ggo 
is uh, light novel is out as well. So uh, those are both very cool. So I'm sure this is great. It's uh, a young priestess joins her first adventuring party, but blind to the dangers, they almost immediately find themselves in trouble. It's Goblin Slayer who comes to their rescue, a man who has dedicated his life to the extermination of all goblins by any means necessary. It's a dangerous, dirty, and thankless job, but he does it better than anyone. And when rumors of his feats begin to circulate, there's no telling who might come calling next. I know nothing about this uh, this light novel, or the anime, or the show that goes with it, so this will be something cool I can take with me when I'm going to L.A. in uh, literally 12 hours. Uh, unless you're watching this in the future, in which case I've already been to L.A. and back. I'll go read our content from Anime Expo anyways, because... It's always good to read content from Anime Expo. We're going to have tons and tons of content there. Um, next, we have a cup. A uh, bamboo fiber cup from the Zodiac Wars series. This is not a series that I have spent time watching. Um, I've seen it a few times come up. Um, people who like action anime seem to enjoy it. And it is like a, uh, a travel coffee mug sort of thing. Um... with the lovely logo on there. and These are all the characters of the Chinese Zodiac that are in the show that fight each other. That's what the basic premise of the show is, is they, they fight. There we go. It's well printed. Uh, unfortunately, the lid is rubber. Um, that's not going to be good for almost anything that is trying to be not, you know, you probably can't wash this. In the dishwasher, you probably have to hand wash it. Uh, and here's the inside of the cup. It is made of bamboo. It's a bamboo fiber cup. Um, it makes a weird sound when you hit it. Um, it definitely doesn't feel like a ceramic. I've never had a bamboo fiber cup. It also came with a little uh, rubber insulator for your hand. Uh, presumably, you put coffee or tea in here. It's kind of neat. Um, it's kind of a neat thing. I, I'm not personally probably going to use this, but if you're a big kind of person, a commuter cup sort of person, you could take this with you. Maybe put your tea or coffee in here. Uh, I think the idea is that this is somewhere between like a full-on uh, insulated metal cup and like your typical disposable Starbucks cup. So you're being a little bit nicer to the environment. Don't hate it. Don't love it. Take it or leave it. Either way is fine. Um, you know, I don't think there's anything wrong with uh, things like that in the loot in the anime in the loot anime boxes. It's kind of a practical piece. Uh, at one point, they gave us they gave me some little. Uh, it was in one of the boxes a couple months ago. There were little little sake cups. Those are really cool. Um, it's nice to have subtle. Um, that's not very subtle, but it would be nice if they were a little more subtle. This looks like a flag. All this on the front is made in China. Uh, Oh, uh, yeah, it's a flag of something. Berserker, maybe? It doesn't have any names or any logos on it at all that I can see. Uh, or no. So this one we're going to have to go to the poster to find out what it is, because I have no clue what that is. All right, let's take a look at the poster. Oh, it's a small, tiny poster this month. Um, everything, it seems like, had to be put into a different... Um, Container than usual in order to fit, which is interesting. Uh, I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not passing judgment on it. It's just really interesting. Uh, so the poster is from Zodiac Wars. Uh, so the front has that same logo from before. Uh, let's see. We can see. Can you see all that? It's hard to tell. It's not upside down. The characters are just standing upside down on the top. Um, take that for what you will. So, yep, yeah, that was the Battle Angel Alita t-shirt. Uh, you've got the Lend Lustrous pin again. Make sure you check out Loot Crate Anime slash Anime Pins for the free digital copy. That bandana is from Claymore. And then you have the Zodiac War Bamboo Cup and the Naruto Shippuden Socks. Uh, and the Goblin Slayer light novel. Um, this is the first time I think I've gotten a light novel out of one of the Loot Anime boxes. Um, light novels are nice because they're a little bit more content-wise than... Um, you get out of a typical manga. Uh, it's you know you maybe a typical manga it might take you if you read at an average pace maybe take you like a half hour to read through the whole thing if you're if you're reading in a, you know in a slow average pace. Um, with a light novel you're really you're getting a story. So as long as unless you know you're a super speed reader, uh, this is going to take you more than a half hour to, to tear through. Um, and usually it has some some pictures and things in it uh, as well. 
oh, goblin. That's a, a goblin picture. Uh, and then, you know, stuff like uh, individual bits. It's a nice, it's very nice, and it's in a, you know, it's in a pocket paperback size, so this is definitely small enough to go into a, um, into any sort of pocket you might have in your back pocket. Um, it does not look like this one comes with a poster. Sometimes in the beginning of, uh, light novels or mangas, there'll be a full-color poster you can yank out. So I think that's it for this month, guys. That's a, a pretty nice loot crate. Um, really, actually, very nice loot crate. Uh, I'm very impressed this month with the loot anime there were a lot of good high quality items in that crate uh, and I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna say this is the best one we've gotten in the past couple months uh, no no weird filler stuff except for the claymore bandana I don't know what I would do with the claymore bandana um, but other than that this is all high quality items no no bad fillers uh, a cup like a legit cup um, that's nice this is definitely you know this is this this cup is gonna even though it has the zodiac war stuff on it like, that's not, you know, I would rather it not be on there, but, yeah, I have this on backwards, but I would rather that not have Zodiac War stuff on it, but it does, and that's the reality of the matter, and so I'll still take it in even with that on there. Um, it didn't give us any directions for washing the cup, so I would say hand wash this unless otherwise directed. Uh, and that's it from us guys here at Kitsuga.com. Make sure you check out all of our Anime Expo content, which is upcoming during this week. We will be there all four days, of course, and we hope to see you there.